uh, parking lot machines, uh, we really set up for being simple, keep it simple. And uh, this is definitely one of the a KISS approach to sweeping heads. You've got a, the blast side where the air's coming in, comes into the sweeping head, hits the baffle, baffle turns the, the air and blows it across between the chamber of the rubber flaps. And uh, we set up the rubber flaps. This one has a performance flap on it, so it's gonna be thicker flaps in, in the front. We're always running on a half inch flap in the back uh, to hold the debris in as, as much as possible. And then we can run lighter flaps in the front to where if you're just picking up just really light material and you don't wanna bulldoze it, you don't want them to roll in the front, you want it to come in quick into the, into the sweeping head, we, we'll, we change those out to, to be lighter. And then I'll go around the other side and show you how those, those cartridges come out. But these, these particular uh, uh, channels here are just bolted in in two spots. So you take the two bolts off the, the, the top or two nuts off the top of the side and that whole cartridge can come out. You can change it on the be bench or you can have another cartridge already set up with a lighter flap in there slide that in and, and bolt it up uh, without having to take the sweeping head from underneath the truck at all. But the air, when it comes in here, it's blasting across, it goes over to the intake side, and then the intake side just carries it on, on up into the, into the hopper. And then on the opposite side, it's just a, uh, or on the upper side of it, you've just got the two bolts for the front, two bolts for the, uh, uh, for the, for the back section, and that all comes out into a, uh, into a cartridge. You know, the simplicity of this head, you, you really don't have a lot of problems unless you've really racked it up and, and caught it on a grid and, and bent it. And the, the fact that it is just a simple channel, you can straighten the, the, uh, the channel out. You can actually uh, put it on a, uh, on a metal table uh, or even sometimes uh, we've had customers lay it onto the floor with a, uh, a chain wrapped around the bottom end of a floor jack and you can use a jack for, for actually uh, straightening it up. Some have even taken them to body shops and they'll, they'll put it on their body machine, chain them down, and then take the twist back out of the, the sweeping head. But uh, it, uh, not, a lot, not a lot moving, not a lot of uh, 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 magic there with the, with the sweeping head and, and carrying it forward. We do have with different machines, depending on how the air is, we do have some different configurations in the flaps to where in, in some flaps we'll, we'll actually run a diagonal there to where it, it, uh, that flap doesn't touch the ground and air, it'll force the air to the, to the ground and around the flap and over into the intake. But in all cases, if you pick up on this side of the head and it goes into the, into the chamber, once it's in that chamber, it blows across to the opposite side. Uh, flap replacements is, is very, very simple and very short. Like I said, you, uh, you've got uh, the multiple boats that's, that's onto the, the piece, but you only have two nuts that holds that, that, uh, that cartridge on. So you take those two nuts loose, you drop that out. Within uh, 30 minutes, you can have a whole flap uh, reflapped onto the, the cartridge and, and replaced into the bottom of the head. The question was, is, is the quick change flap uh, standard across all sweepers and, and it is not. There are some sweepers that, that do not have that in, into it, the, uh, uh, but th it is an option and, and I believe in, in every machine that we make we, we do have an, an option in, on the S-Series with the uh, quick change.